Now, let me go through the remaining phases really quickly. There's the framework definition phase. This involves creation of the overall product concept. So this includes things such as a framework for the product's visual design, for the product's behaviors, for its physical form, if that's something that's applicable. So physical form like your smartphones, or even a remote, as we talked about earlier in the semester. And essentially, what you develop in the framework definition phase becomes your blueprint for product development. Now, typically what happens is you take your framework, or you develop your basic framework, and now you vet it with various uh, people on your team. If you have users, you can vet it with them. You usually don't. But you want to make sure you vet it and compare it with your, your requirements. And then you go into the refinement phase. And in the refinement phase, you're basically taking your framework and you are increasing the detail and implementation. Well, you end up with, at that point, essentially you're refining it. Just as it says, refinement phase, you are refining it. You're refining your framework. The results in form and behavior specifications. So it is more detailed. So that you have a much better, robust plan. Then there's the design support phase. Now, in the design support phase, if this is particularly a new product, although this does apply to iterative processes and existing products, this is where you have to, have to go and now you're going to try to either create a prototype or you may actually be, you know, you're basically trying to implement it. This is where you're really going to find that you're running into walls. Because now all of a sudden there's going to be some issue that comes up that you didn't expect. That is why in the design support phase, you will have to adjust the design. You're going to have to make trade-offs. You know, up here we did you know, a lot of balancing. You're still going to have to do more balancing and you're going to have to do more trade-offs. You have to work, worry about things like deadlines, budgets, other types of constraints. So you will be modifying your design. During this process, also remember, it's going to be iterative. You're going to have to go back and probably go through other aspects of this particular process. It's not just beginning to end and I'm done. It's all part of the flow. 